Hey there, this is Mr. Rickerus, and welcome to a very special edition of Doom Mod Madness. This time around, we're checking out Ghoul's Forest 3, widely regarded as one of the scariest Doom mods around. Uh, I figured I'd do something spooky for Halloween, and I've done as little research as possible into this in order to ensure maximum spooky effectiveness. So uh, this is going to be a largely blind playthrough here, and... Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to enjoy what comes next. We're up against three different ghouls. We've got to defeat them all, all balls, in order to get out of this alive. I really dislike this first one. This first one is an absolute son of a bitch. Takes a few arrows to kill. Ah, oh, jeez. This is the furthest I've ever got with him, to be perfectly honest. Uh, once we've completely defeated this one, we'll move on to the next. Oh, boy. That was close. Die, die, you evil, horrible bastard. There we go. We've got a limited number of arrows. We've got uh, a maximum of 30 to begin with. We're now down to 27. And I have no idea who we're up against next. But this this is honestly one of the most atmospheric Doom mods I have played in recent time. This, this, this forest seems to stretch on forever. I'm sure there's some kind of trickery going on here in order to make that happen. But um, good grief, my heart is pounding right here. It just shows that you don't need... Fancy modern tech to scare the bejesus out of someone. Okay, where are we? We're back at the campsite. Come on, show yourself, you horrible abomination. But uh, audio design is also extremely well done here. You've got to listen out. You've got to listen for the direction that these things are coming in. Otherwise, you won't have a chance in hell. Here we go. Of anticipating the direction. This guy is, uh, I, I call him Mr. Jumpscare, because he literally just pops up in front of your face if you let him get close enough. He's actually the easiest one to deal with. Look at him buggering off like a coward. And, uh, I'm just happy he was the second, because now we have the, my ultimate nemesis. My ultimate nemesis, Jitter Skull. I am not looking forward to this guy. This, this, this one freaks me out the most. This one freaks me out more than anything else in this particular mod. So we are gonna keep our eyes and ears open. Oh, there he is! There he is, you horrible fucking son of a bitch! I have no idea if I've hit him. He's very hard to- do. Oh, Jesus! There we go. We're dead. Thank you very much, Mr. Jitter Skull. Thank you, Mr. Skeletal, you horrible son of a bitch! Honestly, I don't know why people do it to themselves. I, I understand the rush and the thrill that you get out of having the utter shit scared out of you, but um, what, what happens later? What happens when you go to bed and you have horrible, horrible nightmares about these frigging abominations? You're all crazy. You're all crazy people, I tell you. And uh, just be happy that I decided to put myself through this for your entertainment, dear viewer. <laughs> this is what Halloween's all about, isn't it? Oh, balls! No, no, no! <laughs> Do you see what I mean about this one being an absolute pain in the ass? He's probably the least scary one out of all of them. But, he's absolutely difficult as hell to hit with an arrow. You've actually got multiple difficulties here as well. We, we've got infinity arrow, so you can let loose as many as you like. You've got 35, 30, 20, and then 20 with the death skull. You know what, sod it, let's do 20 with the death skull! This level isn't even remotely fair. I'm curious. I'm sure you are too. We are just going to see how long we can last <laughs> in this particular mode. Oh, jeez. We've got to wait for the campfire to go out, which is a wonderful little touch. A wonderfully atmospheric little touch. And this probably means that these ghouls are going to take a hell of a lot of arrows to put down. We've actually got 40 arrows here. I think there was a bit of a glitch going on. Okay. Who have we got? Who have we got? Show yourself. Show yourself, you utter demonic sons of bitches. I know you're around here. Oh, there we go. Oh. Right in the kisser. We're good. We're good. We're doing well. We've just got a few more hits to deal with. This one's tricky because he darts around the side of trees, making it very hard to get a clean shot on him. So you've got to be very careful. And you usually have to let loose an arrow at the last possible second in order to land a good hit. So we're going to try and get some some clearance between these trees here so we've got a direct line of sight. And where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Where are you? There we go. So that's three hits. 
we're going to see how long, how long this guy takes to take down. Considering we're playing on maximum difficulty here. Oh no! So, uh, <laughs> that went well. My jimmies are well and truly rustled at this particular point. If you'd like your jimmies to be rustled in a similar manner, you could do much worse than check out the link in the description below to get your own version of Ghoul's Forest 3. I've also provided links to... Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I've also provided links to the first two versions of the game. Oh, crikey. Uh, if you'd like to check them out. I like to think of them as... Um, oh, shit nuggets. I like to think of them <laughs> as prototype versions of Ghoul's Forest 3. But, um, yeah. Thanks very much for watching. It's been Mr. Icarus. Crap in his pants. Ugh. The things I do for Doom Mod Madness. Icarus out.